Mr. Chaba, thank you very much for joining us here. Uh, let me begin by asking you about the strategy behind the MG Asta. Uh, how do you think this will be a differentiator in an already competitive mid-size SUV segment? So since, since our launch uh, in this country, we have been uh, trying to take technology as one important pillar of our uh, brand. Uh, and Aster fulfills that once again, I hope, uh, by making sure that uh, we offer industry first few features and segment first many features in this car. So two things I want to point out, which is uh, ADAS or autonomous level two features which we are providing in this segment. So uh, this is the first time in this segment ever those kind of features are going to be available. And second is personalized uh, assistant through AI or artificial intelligence, which we have given in this car. Yeah. Uh, so these two things hopefully will differentiate on the technology side, and apart from the fact that uh, we would like to keep the cost of ownership very low, mm. we're also giving uh, assurance through uh, buyback schemes and things like that. So overall, focus will be on the cost of ownership and giving peace of mind to consumers. Right. So these things hopefully will differentiate our cars than some of the competitors. To what extent has your production been disrupted, Mr. Chaba? Yeah, so it's not a good news to share, actually. Uh, we are able to do 50-55% of our requirements, uh, so to that extent we have been disrupted. Uh, and I think this uh, will continue for some more time. As far as Aster is concerned, uh, we hope to produce around 5,000 cars in, in the remaining of this year till December, and we are able to uh, give it to the first batch uh, of consumers. Uh, uh, things probably will improve from January onwards, but still it may take six months to one year time for situation to become normal on uh, semiconductor availabilities. Uh, the other headwind that we're looking at uh, right now, Mr. Chaba, is the coal shortage and uh, the looming power crisis that everyone has been uh, speaking about. Uh, do you foresee some uh, trouble, some impact on production uh, over the next one month? Give us a sense of the kind of impact uh, that MG Motor is feeling as a result of the container shortage, high freight rates. You know, um, these things are pretty uh, unpredictable and uncertain, and frankly, uh, this kind of situation uh, I have not seen. Uh, so, so we are trying to, uh, you know, uh, mend our ways. We are trying to tweak our strategies. We are trying to tweak our, uh, you know, product mix and trim mix and, and some price adjustments. Uh, you know, so this is how we are trying to uh, handle the situation. But frankly, uh, the whole chips and ships are creating havoc uh, with our industry as of now. All right. That was Raji Chaba of MG Motor explaining how the chip and ship shortage is wreaking havoc for the auto sector this year. But uh, while customers have to wait for anything between 7 to 12 months for their brand new SUV and sales and production continue to be hit by the semiconductor and container shortages, there is no such problem in the used car segment. In fact, according to industry estimates, the pre-owned car segment is set to grow 15 to 20% over last year. That's why...